You look wonderful. Thank you. You look you, lovely. You can tell I'm a newcomer because it's freezing, and everybody always says it's freezing, but... It ain't freezing tonight. I came it's with my halter anyway. You look good. <laughs> you look darn good. <laughs> Are you really chilly? Get her, a, get her a blanket or a sweater or something like that. No, get her, no, get her no, something no. like a down parka. No, I got the dress. You're gonna make me cover it up. Yeah, no. I know. I'm nuts. No. How you doing? I'm Listen, good. Uh, uh, boy, this movie you turn. This is a pretty good uh, cast, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's run this down. It's uh, you, of course. Yes. It's Sean Penn. Yes. Uh, Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte. Uh, John Voight. John Voight. Uh, who, who am I leaving out here? Billy Bob Thornton. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Now this yeah. is nuts, isn't it? Yeah. Tell the folks about the film. What's the story? Um, well, it's about. Um, this wander, well, it's a film noir, and it's directed by Oliver film Stone. Film noir. Now, what does that mean exactly, film noir? I don't noir? really know, but the, it's a kind of movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and basically, like, it has certain ingredients, like the femme fatale, mm -hmm. no, like the femme bad fatale. husband. Right. Femme fatale's the woman. Right. Uh, <laughs> the, the bad husband, there's always a bad husband That's who, like, it, in wants this to one, get it's, the wife it, killed. It's Nick Nolte in this. He's Nick the bad Nolte's husband. Nick Nolte's my husband. Um, and then there's the wanderer who's, like, you know, the guy who comes to save. The drifter. The drift, the troubled, the troubled loner, the drifter. Exactly. Well, what happens is Sean Penn plays the drifter, loner, wanderer, <laughs> and uh, his car breaks down yeah. in this very, very small town in Arizona called Superior. Mm -hmm. You do not want to get stuck there. Right. And uh, then he runs into me, which is even worse. All hell for him. breaks loose. <laughs> But you know, there's a there's a great moment in the film uh, between uh, uh, Sean Penn yeah. and uh, Billy Bob uh, Thornton. And which one is that? This is when he's uh, working on his car and he he does something to the car and he ch charges him and it doesn't tell him about the work he's oh, done on the well car. That, well, I can't. I, I, Oliver's really funny about us giving away the whole. Oliver Stone. Here's a guy who's nuts too. No, he's, you know he's not a nut job. He's they're all misunderstood. These yeah. guys I've worked well, with. Well, I don't have time for that. <laughs> You know, I've worked with a lot of people. Like, I worked with Jack Nicholson, mm -hmm. and I've worked with um, uh, Bob Rafelson, who's a big director, and um, just a lot of people, Robert Blake, who are, like, have kind of certain, you know, things said about them. But I always find that it's better if you just go in with an open mind. Uh, let's tell the folks about, uh, about you. Where, where did you come from? About how did you get started in big-time acting and stuff like that? <laughs> Luck? Um, no, I, uh, I'm from the Bronx. I'm from New York originally, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> And uh, I just got into acting by way of uh, becoming a fly girl, really, on In Living Color. Now tell the folks what the, what the fly girl is, did, what she was, what do you... Um, a fly girl was uh, one of the dancers on In Living right. Color. That but once you're a fly girl, you're pretty much a fly girl the rest of your life, aren't you? I know, people never let it die. Yeah. But that means, that, you know, they liked it. Oh, yeah, no, I think people like fly girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, how, did you, how did you get that job? Um, Keenan, you know, they had a big audition here in New York, and I went you know, wound up getting it and flew out to L.A. And it was great, except, you know, all the girls hated me. Well, now, why? Because I was from New York. Really? Yeah, and they were all from L.A., and I was like the outsider, you know, girl. What, were there, were there uh, fights? Was there no, friction? Was well, there... you know what? It was funny, because my first week out there, you know, I'm trying to fit in, you know, I'm friendly, I'm nice, you know, I'm trying to fit in with the You're girls. You're the friendly fly girl. I'm, yeah, absolutely. I'm the friendly bronze fly girl. All right. And what happened was, uh, I went out there and it was the first week, and one of the girls comes up to me and she's like, you know, you know that photo shoot we were supposed to do? They postponed it because uh, they're waiting for you to lose a little weight. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she say that, this poor child? I was like, excuse me? You know, I said, so I got on the phone with Keenan. Yeah. And I said, Keenan, I was very New York back then. I mean, I see interviews of myself, like now I have an accent, but back then it was like, Keenan. What's up with this girl? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna kick her ass. <laughs> really? There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, I was very, very upset. How old, how old were you then? I was young. I was like uh, 19. Uh, other people in your family in, in show business, or are you the first? No, I'm the first. Uh, and how did you decide that you wanted to be in show business? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know? It's funny, you're not gonna believe me. <laughs> And you guys are going to think I'm really corny, but I don't care. I'll tell it anyway. Um, it was funny because I was going to school for, to, like, be a lawyer, you know, which is a good thing. And, uh, <laughs>
<laughs> and what happened was, I, I'm in bed and I, I have this dream one night. Mm -hmm. And I swear to you, the dream was that I was supposed to be in show business and I was supposed to be doing certain something. I don't know if it was going to lead me to something. Anyway, I get up all excited mm -hmm. and I go downstairs to my mom and dad, who, and I'm in college. And I said, uh, Ma, Dad, I had this dream and I'm going to drop out of college <laughs> and I'm going to go into show business full time. Because I had been always interested. And of course, my mother's like, are you a nut job? What is wrong with you? My dad was more the spiritual, really, will follow your heart, you know? Yeah. <laughs> do what you have to do. But my mom was like, right, yeah. you know. But uh, that I was... don't believe a word of it. No, I, s they, I, I don't believe you. I am... You made the whole thing up, I didn't you? Swear... All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been married? I've been married um, since February. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, congratulations. So yes. technically speaking, you're still a newlywed there, aren't you? I am you? very newlywed. How's that working out? Who are you married to? What's the guy's name? His Tell name us is little... Ohani. Oh, what's Noah. the deal on o Ohani? Ohani. Ohani. Yeah. Is, it, is that a Hawaiian name? No, Ohani? actually, it's a Cuban. He's Cu Cuban. Oh, Cu he's Cuban, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a lot of um, weird names. I... <laughs> No, they do. They, like, invent these really I, I think exotic it, names. Yeah, exotic, probably better than weird. I'm sorry. That's, that's, right. that's right. You're married to him. Don't make any difference to me. Uh, no, but uh, he's a great guy. Uh, how's that working out? How'd you meet Ohani? Oh, God. Well, I met him down in Miami. I was doing a movie. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, was... What does he do? What does Ohani do? Um, right now, he's opening a, a restaurant and club in... LA. Of course he is. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, uh, and so he's a restaurateur? Is that yes. Yeah. Does he know anything? You know, we have one of the great chefs of uh, New York uh, going to be on the show oh, a little really? later. Yeah. Is, really? o is Ohani no, he here doesn't tonight? Cook. No. Oh, he doesn't cook. No. He's a behind the scenes guy. Oh, he's a behind the scenes guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. uh, you know and is it fun being married? You know, I have a thing about, you know, <laughs> not about being married. I like being married, but. My problem was is that when I was when I had got uh, engaged, you know, I asked a lot of people, you know, what is it like to be married? Mm -hmm. You know, please, you know, tell me. And they're like, oh, you got to be honest, you got to be friends. And then now I look back and I, I say to myself, they must have been like, <laughs> when I turn my back because right. <laughs> nobody tells you, you know, they're probably like, oh, she's gonna freak, <laughs> you know, what I mean? because I did. What happened was after I got married and you know I was working a lot at the time yeah. and promoting Selena was around the same time. Mm -hmm and Anaconda. And what happened was, uh, you know, I just, all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, this man forever here. Mm. Oh God, you know, yeah. <laughs> total freak out. Right, you know? It right. was really weird. But things are okay now? Yeah, but now I'm in on the conspiracy with other people because I'm one of the married folk. But you're happy married, aren't you? I am because now, like that was the first six months. Now we're in the second six months. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Things are better. <laughs> yeah. Well, th uh, this film's pretty exciting. It's, I like oh, stuff like this. It's, it's, it's uh, kind of yeah. It's different. It's kind of gritty. It's kind of peculiar. Kind of edgy. Very kinda edgy. Visually your exciting. Face. You yeah. know. You know. Oliver is really. You know. Well, I don't he's wanna... nuts. We've established that. He's no, nuts. No, he's so brilliant. He's no, I think so... he tells people he's nuts. He said, "I'm just flat out nuts. Come see the movie." It's, <laughs> it's the best kind of publicity you can know, have for a movie. Just say I the director's that... nuts. Come on in. Yeah, I can't say that. What? Because Oliver will call me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, Jennifer, yeah, don't say no. those things about me. Well, you know, it's a pleasure a pleasure to meet you. It's and nice if you want to ha uh, hang around later, we're going to have waffles, all right? Okay. All right. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, ladies and gentlemen.